Fresh off a facelift, Hard Rock Stadium is energized. A sense here of relief after a tense week in Florida, and now release for this big rivalry game. Welcome to ESPN Saturday Night Football on ABC and this presentation of the ACC on ESPN. Miami 4-0 against a suspect schedule in Mark Rick's first year. Favorites tonight against number 23, Florida State. Cook, not going to get there. Instant penetration by Kendrick Norton. Francois. Batted down to the line of scrimmage, and the Canes defense makes a stand and will take over as Demetrius Jackson came off the end to break it up. Third possession here. They haven't called a running play yet. Kaya flips it again, and that's Njoku, the big tight end, who's a tough matchup, but Mark Richt is calling the play as well. Since, like, the 06 season when he was at Georgia. And Yerby gets loose. And Dalvin Cook's high school teammate spins to the 35. Looking at film, he's no longer that CEO type of head coach. You flip it out in the flat. This is Herndon, the tight end, who gets a block and is spun down aggressively on the far sideline. Miami crowd wanted a flag on Trey Marshall from 37 yards. Very reliable junior kicker. And he knocks it right through. So Miami draws first blood late. First quarter, 3-0. Just get it off, and Francois rolling, wanted to take a downfield shot, and now just fires it into the bench. Hendrick Norton knocked him down, and Francois lost his helmet, is very slow to get up. No flag in a very loud environment. Collects the snap, feels the pressure, and will not escape. They come right after McGuire. Dalvin Cook in the running game and being aggressive at the point of attack. And they're all over number four, who somehow bounces free. Dalvin Cook in a foot race. The elder able to chase him down, but a huge gain, the kind of thing that Cook has done the last two years to the Canes. Second and eight. McGuire fires. Intercepted. Picked off by the Canes. Jaquan Johnson was standing right there. And McGuire delivered in his chest. Not a breath of wind in the stadium. Kaya on a slant. Complete. And that's the freshman, Amon Richards. Big potential for this guy. Outside, that time too easy for Kaya. And now Kaya delivers to Coley near side. Stutter step. Lowers the shoulder near midfield. Another first down. Yearby cuts it back and a quick burst. Yearby spinning for 11 yards. And the Canes with tempo moving the ball again. Knowles rush for Kaya retreats. It's a screen look. Flips it off to Walton, who's got a convoy of blockers. Walton busts into the secondary. Cuts it back. Brought down near the 10. You could see it coming, but it was hard to stop. First and 15. Three receivers to the left for Kaya. They throw it, and the catch is made, but it's a loss. It's Kaya got in third and very long. Again, got to get to the two. It's a shot for the end zone. This is Cole. No signal, out of bounds. Incomplete. Terrific throw. Taylor, the freshman. Uh, this will be an interesting look to left foot. Let's see when it stop it. Uh, that's, a, that's a touchdown. At the review, the receiver's left foot was in bounds when the ball was possessed. Touchdown. A tremendous throw by Kaya. Come after Francois again, gets good protection and delivers downfield, making a nice recovery to knock the ball away as Elder is at a big first half. Running game hasn't really busted loose so far. It's been Kaya, efficient and effective throwing, and now breaking loose. This is the freshman, Amon Richards, sidesteps a man, still going into FSU territory. Drives it low and knocks it through. That cleared the crossbar by 20 feet. And good protection. Whitfield has been the weapon down the middle. Terrific catch. 
28 yards for the birthday boy. Kermit Whitfield, his fifth catch tonight. Now Francois chased, gets away, and even on a bad shoulder, he's rumbling into the secondary, slides down inside the 30. And with the crowd roaring, the Canes rush five. Francois delivers a strike for a first down far sideline. Bo, Bo Wilson, big brother, the All-American Roberto. This one, 31. And he does slide it through. So a 62-yard drive in eight plays when a minute six. Knowles will get the ball to start the second half. But it's 13-3, Miami up 10 at the break. Defense is the backbone of this program. That's what they're trying to bring back. And there's the freshman again. Amon Richards on the slant out near midfield. Kaya in the pocket, delivers, Coley running free, and now just tackled at the 12-yard line by Lewis, who saved the touchdown. They don't bring pressure, Kaya's well protected, takes an end zone shot, dangerous throw, and it's intercepted. McFadden came back and took it away from the freshman, a huge play for that Knowles defense. Two tight ends. And he fake it to Cook, and now Francois finally will take a shot downfield, and Cook is wide open. Dalvin running free, touchdown, flag is down. He may have rough Francois, but Dalvin Cook, the hometown guy, strikes again against the Canes. 59 yards. Third and eight, no hands on the ground for the Knowles. They use this look against Miami, trying to confuse the quarterback. It worked last year effectively, and there's an incompletion. Yep. Nuzzo in motion, two tight end look from the I formation. They fake it to Cook, and Francois rolls out, takes a shot, delivers, and it's catch is made. Maven Saunders, the tight end, is. And brings some pressure. It's picked up, man, and now the strike is delivered. That's Auden Tate who fights for a first down near the 20. Play action, flipped over short. Whitfield makes a man miss and scoots into the end zone. And the Seminoles take the lead. How about that? Block on the edge from Rudolph Kirk. And we see that Florida State resilience again. Francois protected, delivers across the middle, catch made on a huge hit deliver, but holding on to the ball was Bobo Wilson. And they hand it, and here comes a flag. It's Patrick. They grabbed his face mask, and it'll be another penalty on the Canes. Second and nine. Francois keeps it. They dump it short. And Wilson. Gets a block, cuts it back, fights out of bounds near the marker at the 33. It'll be another third and very short here. Cook picks his way for a first down and almost broke it. The 12th play of the drive. They dig in and force Aguayo's 32-yard field goal. They'll take that, though, because it's still a one-score game. Exactly. They don't convert here, maybe just one more chance to get back into this thing. Kaya stepped up, sack on back-to-back -back plays. That was Josh Sweat, the Buck linebacker. Pressure. Throws off the back foot and just fires it into the bench. It was Thomas again making his presence felt, and it's fourth down. Miami's defense makes a stand. Great field position with the return. Gets away a kick, and Berrios, no fair catch, cuts it back. Braxton Berrios, FSU territory, and cut down inside the 20. Walton, nothing. Stuffed right there by Demarcus Walker, who came around the edge. Interesting call. Last gasp, perhaps, for the Kings. Kaya for the end zone. Coley, touchdown! With a minute 38 to play. What a throw by Kaya on fourth down. It's blocked! It's no good! The no! 
Grizzlies streak ends at 72 in a row. Michael Batchley. Watch the hold. Little bit, of, maybe affects the, the rhythm there, but no question. It's Walker. Marcus Walker gets his hand on it and knocks that ball away. Talking about one of the best kickers in the country. Interesting. Play action. All kinds of room for Francois, who doesn't really want to get out of bounds. Falls down. It's a first down. That is all Jimbo Fisher. Great call. Francois snapped it about five seconds before he had to. Cook around the edge. May not matter. Delvin Cook, another first down at the 35-yard line. And now Miami is going to have to spend a time out here. Lost by a total of 10 points in the last three years. And they had, they had leads in the second half of all of them. And this Florida State team is going to improve to 4-2. and two. They get their first conference win. Keep slim hopes alive for the division title. they got to beat Clemson in a couple weeks at home. Hope the Tigers lose another game. Hope Louisville loses a game. But for now, forget all that. It's Francois and a testament to toughness. And Fisher still perfect against Miami.